Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this Thursday night, March 9th, 2023. It's about 9.37 p.m. here along the West Coast. Pretty rainy all day today here in California. Got lots more rain coming in. Latest quake. Uh, looks like we have some activity into the uh, Peru area with a 5.0. Pretty significant deep earthquake there. And uh, the latest quake here on the map shows some movement up into Alaska. Uh, also notice uh, the swarm of earthquake activity up there into the region of the Aleutian Trench. That is due to some volcanic, heightened volcanic activity up there with the uh, Tanaga and the Takawanga volcanoes. Both of these volcanoes there have been raised to the orange and watch level. They believe that uh, one of these is getting ready to erupt. Um, now the earthquake swarm that is popping off up there is uh, pretty much situated around two different volcanoes. Let me show you here on the map. They each have their own um, plumbing system, if you will. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to try to get through this here because uh, I'm still a little sick here. Uh, the last eruption here of the Tanaga volcano occurred back in 1914 and of course there were some prior eruptions now a look here at the satellite map here uh, Tanaga sits over here and the uh, Takawanga volcano sits within this area most of the swarming has been situated around this volcano here to the west uh, looking at the last seven days of activity though shows uh, a broad area though stretching across uh, mainly this volcano, but also over here to the east as well. So they're a little uncertain as to which volcano may be getting ready to rumble out here uh, into the Aleutian Trench area. Now, the latest information here from the Hazard folks here, the uh, USGS Hands Network, which is the Hazard Notification System for Volcanoes. Uh, the Tanago Volcano here, uh, of course, got updated from a watch and advisory now to an orange and yellow. Uh, as of this afternoon, over the past 48 hours, eruptive or uh, earthquake activity near the Tanaga volcano has been elevated and continues. Uh, seismic activity is also elevated at the Takawanga volcano, which is only five miles east of the Tanaga volcano. Uh, if an eruption were to occur, it uh, is uncertain at this stage if it would come from Tanaga or Takawanga. So a little uncertainty due to the uh, specific swarming all across the area. Of course, uh, the AVO, the Alaskan Volcano Observatory analysis, will continue to monitor the situation closely and locate events as time permits. Earthquakes are occurring underneath the Tanaga Island at a rate of, a, looks like, several per minute. The largest over the past 24 hours was a 3.9. There has been no detected eruption far as uh, ash, emissions and whatnot uh, in the satellite view. So continue to watch that. Uh, the earthquake activity is still ramping up out here. Looking at the uh, last 24 hours of earthquake activity shows 199 earthquakes within this region of the Tanaga and the Takawanga volcan uh, volcano. The last seven days here, uh, put this into a little better perspective, 544 earthquakes. That's a lot of earthquake activity stretching across this island. And uh, obviously it looks like this thing's getting ready to erupt. We'll continue to keep an eye on it here. It could happen any any second. I do have a um, seismograph station here, uh, the Aleutian Islands. This is somewhat close uh, to the volcano area. Just sits over here to the east a little bit. But that will pick up any uh, m any sizable earthquake activity for the most part within this region. Uh, so we'll definitely keep an eye on it, right? Definitely seen a, a little bit of heightened activity across the Aleutian Trench in Alaska over the last couple days here. So that all goes along with the uh, general plate movement out here, putting a strain up here, the squeeze, so to speak into that area all right uh, what else we got here of course we got this 5.0 coming in to the peru area just a few minutes ago almost an hour ago take that back <laughs> it's 161 kilometers deep into the peru chile trench now last seven days of earthquake activity here doesn't show a whole lot for the peru area most of that was down south let me double check make sure bells are off just just because I'm not, I'm still not all there. I'm kind of off balance right now. 
uh, being sick and all. Most of the activity has been confined south here into the Peru Chile Trench uh, around the Chile area. So this is some newer movement, some deeper activity as well, putting the strain up here along the uh, subduction zone. So we continue to watch that South America region uh, for some uh, heightened activity. Around the Puerto Rico area, things fairly minimal, uh, according to the USGS. Uh, a look at the EMSC model here. Looks like we got a 4.0 coming into the Java Trench region in Indonesia. A swarm of earthquake activity across this area over the last 24 hours. Absent of earthquake activity here across the Mariana Izu Trench, Japan Trench, and the Kurokamachaka Trench up north here. Not a whole lot of activity. This region uh, is under quite a bit of strain, but it just doesn't want to give. Uh, and I think when it does, it's going to be a fairly large one. Uh, for that area in the Curl Kamchaka Trench. 4.5 down here, North Island, New Zealand. Now this is pretty much the Kermadec Trench area north of North Island. Uh, 4.5 at 311 kilometers deep. 4.3 earlier today into the Tonga Trench as well, a little bit deeper. Uh, that is listed up here on the map, at least one of them. The newer quake down into the Kermadec Trench, not so much here. So uh, looking at Further activity across Papua New Guinea. Uh, most of this is some shallow activity here across the region. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the um, the GeoNet servers here. See if I can figure out where I'm at. Uh, there we go. Not for sure how they got moved off the map there, but okay. Um, 4.3, that's two days ago. Let's check out the all magnitudes here. 4.5, 52 minutes ago. Yeah, it's pretty deep, 311 kilometers deep into the Kerberdeck uh, Trench area. Prior to that, uh, some smaller microquakes across the area, fairly close to the uh, Taupo Super Volcano. So I'm going to double check that and see what's going on there across the area. It uh, doesn't look like there's anything uh, too concerning out there. I don't really see any of it actually showing up. Uh, if it is, it's some very small microquake and nothing of concern currently across the area of New Zealand. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here across the uh, Pacific or the uh, uh, areas of Afghanistan. I'm ready for bed. I'm not even joking. It's been a long day watching the rain, but uh, you know you're not feeling good when you can't even really get out and, and enjoy the rain. Normally, I'd be barbecuing in the rain, but that's just not the case. Not up to it right now. Uh, 4.8 in Turkey earlier this evening, somewhat of a moderate size aftershock, but away from our main swarm area. All the activity here over the past 30 days has been confined mostly to this region, but uh, we're getting a little separate swarming out here uh, in a different area, putting the uh, strain up against this little mountain range. There's, there is some fault systems that run through that area. Um, I still don't think we're done with large scale activity here. Um, due to that uh, previous migration and new migration out there uh, taking place. Italy, 4.3 early this morning. And uh, for the most part, the Atlantic Ocean looks calm and clear. A quick glance here at the EMSC model out there in the Atlantic. Shows a 2.9 up in the Iceland area. But uh, that's about it. Not a whole lot of movement across the uh, Atlantic region. Uh, the states, let's see what's going on out here along the west coast. And uh, aside from this one out here in the Blanco Fracture Zone, that was from last night, a 4.2. Not seeing a whole lot out here along the Cascadia currently. A uh, quick look at the trimmer map for the Cascadia shows zip zero. That would explain the absence of, er absence of earthquake activity right now. Not a whole lot, not a, not a whole lot of squeezing going on out here so to speak, in the plate tectonic terms in this area. Uh, Northern California, a little spotty activity across the area. The Bay Area is fairly quiet. Got quite a bit of rain coming in here tonight. Uh, Southern California, not a whole lot. Uh, one point or uh, 2.5 and above shows nada. Nothing showing up down there for 2.5 and above. Some spotty activity on your typical fault systems here called the San Jacinto Fault. Uh, up into the Yellowstone area, a couple of small earthquakes being reported, it looks like. A quick glance here at the Yellowstone overview. Shows a whole lot of blank. There we go. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what this what this signature is. Kind of looks like it showed up on a, a couple other stations. 
I don't know if that's going to be that deep five pointer that we've seen down into the uh, Peru area or not. Sometimes these deeper quakes can't show up distantly. Uh, so we'll check back on that. But either way, earthquake activity, not a whole lot going on at Yellowstone. I really don't see anything popping up there across the area. Uh, down into New Mexico, um, outside of Santa Fe area, 2.6 coming in late last night. Uh, in Texas and Oklahoma, seen that activity this morning across some of those uh, wastewater injection disposal wells. And that is about it for earthquake activity. Let me give a quick glance here and see if we're missing anything. Uh, so definitely noticeable uptick here across the Indonesia area with that 4.0 and previous quakes. Keep an eye on these volcanoes up here along the Aleutian Islands. And um, where's that 4.5? A lot of deeper movement taking place here in areas that we haven't seen any activity. So... That could spell some trouble for the upstream regions of the Peru Chile Trench. We'll continue to watch that uh, as well. Um, space weather activity, not, uh, I don't think we're looking at too much activity, but we are looking at a data blackout. It seemed to always pick the time when uh, the data is being blocked out here by uh, the planet Earth. I, I'm pretty certain that that's the uh, shadow that we're seeing, or at least the. Uh, Oh, it's getting windy out there. Hopefully the stream doesn't go down. It's pretty windy. Goodness. Um, yeah, this is the uh, blackout of the uh, data coming in here. Notice that lack of data every 24 hours or so. But uh, looking at the space weather activity far as sunspots go, well, there's there's numerous, but they're just, they are just there. They're not doing anything spectacular. I don't expect them to do anything spectacular. This one regional sunspot that we were watching here um, over the last 24 hours is dying uh, along with this one as well. So we'll just have to wait and see what develops unless one of these magically um, pick up steam, so to speak. But I think we need to wait for some further sunspots uh, coming around the bend. These guys still have a 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 30% chance, X flare at 10, and I'm not for sure why, but that's what it says. Uh, let me check out the spaceweather.com site and see what they have up here for their uh, for their data. Um, yeah, they still have the same thing. I don't know. I don't. I'm not for sure why it was updated today, but huh, just a little odd it, to me. I don't see it. I don't see any complex structure out there in any of those uh, sunspots. But that's just my observation. All right. Um, uh, weather activity real quick here along the west coast get ready there's that uh, massive storm system coming in here the atmospheric river being chatted about low pressure system spinning off the coast here of oregon tapping into that subtropical moisture bringing in a lot of rain redding california picked up like six or seven inches of snow uh, all that cold air kind of pushed up there i think it may be changing over to rain though tonight and tomorrow as the warmer air comes in and um some warmer precipitation mixes into the west coast i think our main significant storm here and this is going to be a dandy of of a system this is looking more and more impressive every time i run this weather model so here's today's um kind of tapering off i picked up an inch of rain here outside of chico just today so we got uh, quite a few more inches coming in looks like we have a break somewhat of a break on the weekend nothing major we'll have some obvious some showers here along the west coast but it's not until it looks like monday into tuesday that we get a whammy of a storm look at these impressive rainfall rates here this is what we've seen back in january and this is this covers a good portion of the sacramento valley we're currently underneath a flood advisory just from this system uh, that we're seeing right now so i can only imagine what's going to happen with some renewed flooding, melting of the snow. All this is heavy, warm precipitation falling on all these uh, these large snow mounds that have been built up uh, up to about uh, up to about tonight. But that's going to change. Definitely going to change starting tomorrow with the warmer air. And then after that, we got a little weak system, kind of a clipper here. Uh, looks like that's heading towards the northwest, and uh, some further moisture funneling into the west coast area. And it just, it's going to be an active season, I think. 
this could go all the way through March, and I can't uh, I can't remember the last time we had a very active uh, weather pattern like this during the triple dip La Nina. We are switching over to um, El Nino here for the summertime, roughly around August or so. Uh, but most of the time during La Nina, we're looking at drier conditions here for California and very stormy and wet up north. But uh, goodness, it's been quite the winter, let me tell you. So a look here real quick at precipitation accumulation rates since we're chatting about that huge storm coming up. Um, why do I do that? Why do I keep doing that? Not for sure why. Um, precipitation, <laughs> total accumulated precipitation amounts here. I'm ready for bed, not even joking. This doesn't even go all that far out, so unfortunately we're not going to get to see. Um, is it the big storm that's coming up here on the 13th? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like we get a little bit of it. That fills in pretty good. Looks like maybe uh, five or six inches here for the Chico area. Uh, that's going to be a, a whopper of a storm, let me tell you. So, All right, folks. Um, I think that's about it. Again, if anything blasts off there from those volcanoes in the Aleutian Trench area, uh, we'll probably obviously see the earthquake activity showing up here. I can't find any specific station there um, into the uh, those two volcanoes on the... Uh, um, Tanaga region, but uh, we'll continue to watch it and see how it plays out. Uh, looks like, uh, you know, the wording definitely looks like the wording here uh, indicates that even these folks believe that this uh, could erupt pretty soon uh, with that uh, elevated orange and watch level there. So we'll continue to Keep an eye on things as they evolve. Till then, I hope everyone has a good night. Stay dry out there. And uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later. Don't forget, uh, here in about six days, we're going to be doing the member drawing. Uh, Missy Mimi's gave away 10 member um, gift memberships here last night. Uh, appreciate that, Missy Mimi's, uh, to uh, some random people. YouTube picks the random people. Uh, but congratulations to those new members. They will be uh, also entered into the drawing that we're going to be uh, holding up here on the 15th. We do it every month, give away some prizes, and uh, we'll keep the prizes as is, as they have been, and uh, go from there. Having a major delay right now with the uh, Spring Store. That's the uh, store that does the merchandise as far as clothing and whatnot goes. I ordered some stuff um, back in uh, mid-January, and I have yet to receive it, so... Not for sure what's going on with the spring store, but I am probably going to be looking into other options when it comes to uh, merchandise here. Uh, and far as clothing, act, uh, clothing um, merchandise in the future, I'll probably find somebody else to uh, um, make that uh, make that happen. I'm just not for sure exactly what else is out there, but I will be looking around. All right, folks, in the meantime, uh, have a good night. We will catch you guys back here tomorrow sometime. Peace out.